Hi everyone, it's Caroline. Welcome back to the Hillside Desk. I have, I am using this magazine that I received for free at the free. store where there, they set up a basket at the back where the, they have the books displayed. So when I, when I'm driving through town and I feel like going to see if they have anything, then that last time I had this, uh, they had this magazine and it's from 2015 to 2016. I've been harvesting from here for my glue book and I thought I would use it as my next spine magazine journal. And so I did, I did rip out the pages and I know you've seen that done before and it's just any way you want. I think it's to have a, a wide page at the back, thinner page here, just to have some interest. I want to play in here right now. I'm uh, packing up a few things for our stay at our son's place while we babysit, but right now I wanted to use some of the scraps that I have on my desk. This is a photocopy that I took, uh, not a photocopy, I'm sorry. This is a picture that I took of one of my glue, glue book pages or spreads, and I'm going to use this in here. I'm just going to be adding, whether it's with glue or staples, just some of the paper items that I have in my stash. I thought you would like to come and play along and grab your magazine, your off papers, whatever you have, and maybe play along. And <laughs> it's all about playing along together, and I love that. I was going to tear it, but I think I'll just cut it. And I uh, took a, I took a um, snapshot of this, and then I wanted to just print it because I was printing off a few other things, and I thought, oh, I will probably be able to use that somewhere. But I thought this would be fun to add in this. This is a true... I did not cut it in half. This is a spine, magazine spine journal. So the whole spine is intact. This is a page that I guess it just ripped right here. So that would be fun to add, to add this in there. Actually, I'm going to glue it just to add a flap. That's what I'll do there. Very beautiful and sunny, but that means it's very cold out. So, we are, we are into our big winter boots when we're outside. With this kind of weather, that's for sure. And let me just go over like that. Nothing precious about this. It's just really, it's going to be very mixed, mixed media and uh, very grungy. No themes. Let me see if I can do this. Use the stapler. I think I can. getting things off of the desk beside me and having some fun here. This is about the starfish I just did. Oh, and that'll be a fun, let's go somewhere else here. I have lots of bits and pieces in here, so. Yeah, as I was um, just kind of cleaning up, rearranging, reorganizing. And I thought I would just love to try and do this again. Another one. I don't even know if this is where I, I started with this page. I will probably come in and do some painting, just some scraping and mark making. Nothing too fancy. 
I have some fabric here so I can even start to add some fabric to the top. Or to the side, let's just do it right here. Just what I'm feeling right now. Things that have been hanging around. You know how it is. Intentions are there to use it and then it just keeps getting pushed over. Love the threads that start peeking out when I'm using fabrics that fray or even things that <clears throat> that I sew on the machine because I can take this to the machine. It's pretty portable or hand sew. Here's another piece of wipe off paper. Scrap. I love staples. That's on there. I have some security envelope. I'm going to put that right in there. I think I'll glue this one. So there's a few things that have already cleared off the desk. I have got a lot more to go. I have some receipts here too that I was going to do some graffiti, um, graffiti receipts and I will just put these on here and I can stamp on them after. Got this fun, this is fun here. I'm going to get out this old ink pad. I have no, oh yeah. Again, this will, this might get covered up later. Very crunchy. I folded this over, this one. Look for a page that has not much on it as far as writing goes. Mark making. So this was a free catalog, I mean magazine. Here's a nice blank page. Packaging on top of old papers that you're not using. Okay, that'll be fun. Come back and use my little stapled. This is do what you want. use the cork and I also like to use that with just with some ink this will not be done in one session this is an ongoing project I did when I harvested I did take a lot of the pages out so that's where it gave me the idea that it was already very thin and I thought, yeah, I think I'll just make this into one of the fun spine magazine spine journal.
and all these marks i think they are they look so weird and random and but at the end they're just a lot of fun okay this one I'm making a lot of noise. <laughs> this is gold. This one is an old one too. All these older stamps are, they're at least 20 years old. I have these flowers. I'm going to add these. these looking for a good spot another thing is I'm using these um, apricots that will be on repeat well some of the pages that I'm that I used for my glue book my glue book, glue book categories I did not need the whole page, so you'll see images on repeat. Like this was a whole page of apricots. And I'm just doing that. Trying to go with some different, uh, some different textures of paper also. I have some of this. Nothing too interesting at the moment. Like I said, it's very plain. I'm just getting some coverage. I could rough this up a bit here. Just because I'm going to put this over here. Some of these too, I'm, the way I'm gluing them is that I can use them as little pockets later. Little tab. This just gives me a nice head start. Okay, I also have a lot of my crayon, my rubbings, my texture rubbing, so I will use these in here. But I really want to get rid of some of this shine, so here I go. And it doesn't matter that I'm going to go on the other pages, maybe overlap. No, it doesn't. Well, my paint's not completely dry, but I wanted to put this scrap on. And I think I'll just wrap it around. And I can add to it later. That's fun. I also have 
This has been hanging around a long time. It's a fairy and I'm going to use her in here somewhere. I love doing this to, to clean off my my area. Okay, I like what it says down here. We love great design. I'll see if I keep that. So I have a piece of cardboard. Let me rip this off a little bit. That'll be fun to work with. Hmm, I use that as a, a tab. Starting to get more bulk to this, which is great. You don't need a lot. You don't even need a reason. That's fun, that's gone. This was a package. I'm going to take off the tape. Texture rubbings. Take a little, take a quick look. We have just a little bit of scrapey paint. I'm excited to see how it turns out and just added, glued and stapled. I did some sewing on here already. Added some things from my basket. Getting some scraps on my scraps. A little bit of mark making, some other scraps. Lots of things to fill in. Additions if you want ruffles of paper that are scraps. Let's see here. These are two. Oh yeah, okay. Just gives it body and different textures. 
this one here. I, did I staple this? Yes, I did. I stapled that. This was glued on. Some more mark making. I, this, I just added this with some sta with a stapler, some of my threads and an old T tag. Ruffles, the start of another magazine spine journal. And I hope that you can dig out some of your, your fun scraps and have a play, create, just be free with it. Thanks everyone for coming along. I hope you are adventurous and definitely stay cozy. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.